All your Excel needs. Today I want to show you a production schedule that you can do with using Excel. It has some pretty cool features. So the file itself has a few sheets. There's a line capacity where you set up the capacity per line, your line throughput for each product, how much you can produce every hour, the schedule itself where you book the line and see what's the situation, the dashboard which shows you your production plan versus what your customers need, and the hours conversion which is basically a back-end sheet where you don't need to touch anything. So let's start from the easier parts, line capacity. By the way, all over this file you'll see orange and blue columns or rows. Wherever you see an orange one, that means you need to change that cell. And the blue ones are formulas that you do not need to change. Now you could also, you know, um, password protect uh, these uh, columns and cells but since this is uh, you know working file you, you don't have to do that so in the line capacity you have basically the month and for each month where September is the first month there are basically four inputs how many working days there are hours per day is there any time left for maintenance and is there any added manual reduction and eventually you get the capacity in hours. Formula is quite simple. Working days times hours per day minus maintenance minus manual reduction. And this is per line and per month. And basically here you have just two columns that's gonna help us move that information around. So you have the month and since this is merged, it's checking if the cell is empty, if it is, take the one above it, otherwise take whatever's here. And this is how you can easily convert a merged cell into a full list. And over here the key is basically just the month and the name of the parameter. And the reason I built this is because I want to use index match to pull the capacity per line. And if I look based on date, um, then I'll have, I'll find this one. So there are other ways to, you know, to do that, but this is personally one of my favorites. So uh, this is what I'm going to use to pull the data for each line. So this is line capacity, and you can see that it's already set up for 10 different lines. So you can just add lines over here. And if you want, if you need more lines, then you can just add more and make sure to adjust the formulas as you go on. But this is already built for 10 lines all over the file. So all you need to do is set up, for example, for line, line number three. So just key in, let's say the working days, 15, working nine hours per day, 15 hour maintenance, and eight hours for something. So you get 112 hours for the month of September, and you can do it for every month moving forward. Line throughput. This is where you define how much each line can produce every hour. In this file, I used units per hour, but of course you can change that to um, you know, weight per hour or volume per hour or whatever kind of unit you want to use. It's, it's the same, um, same result. So there's the product here and there's the um, possible. This is going to show us which lines have any throughput, meaning they are uh, fit to be produced. So again, you can see these are pulling already from the line capacity. And the reason I use the formula is just to make sure that the names match all, 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 all around. So again, this is built for 10 different lines. So you just need to set up what is the um, unit per hour throughput for each line for each product if it exists and then you can see that it gives you this um, string showing you which uh, lines are available and this is just a simple formula that 
checks if there's a value greater than zero, then add this string to this string, and it goes on and on for 10 different options. Schedule. So this is where um, you um, do most of your work. So first of all, you need to set up the month, which month you want to analyze. And you've got to put the first day of the month. Okay, so in this case, September 22. You key in the customer, whatever customer it is. Product, you select. These are going to be from the products over here. Okay. See, this is a list called product. Um, the quantity, this is something you need to um, key in. What's the quantity? How many units do you need? And the required date, which is always good to know because it could help you prioritize your production. Possible lines is what we saw before. This shows you which lines you can produce this product. Schedule is how much quantity you schedule. And the gap is the difference between two. Now you'll notice that you have yellow cells and orange pink cells. The colored cells are the ones that are uh, fit for the production based on this string. So if it shows line one and three, so one and three are going to be colored. Line two will be blank. So it's just a hint for you on um, where you can and cannot schedule production. Um, it's pretty easy to do. All you need to do is conditional formatting and you see the function is I'm using an if. I use the last one which is a formula and I'm using if search the value here over here and if it exists give it a 1 or a 0 and if it's 1 give it this color. So that's pretty simple to do and you drag it all around. So that's this part. The part on top, um, you have each line, and again, this is equal to this one, which is equal to this one. So once you once you add lines, it's going to appear all over. You have the capacity, which is coming from here. Okay, it's this line basically, or whatever month you select. You have it, line efficiency, which is a number that you can change. This is going to eventually calculate the uh, gross hours that you scheduled. You have the scheduled um, net hours, and that's coming in from here, from the hours conversion. We'll get to that later. You have the gross hours, which is basically the net divided by the efficiency. And the gap is the difference between whatever capacity you have and whatever you scheduled. And the planned utilization is just the percentage uh, shown here. Now you'll notice there's two colors over here, yellow and red. They are simple conditional formatting, pulling data or based on the values here. So if it's between 0 and 70, it's going to be yellow. If it's between 70 and 90, it's going to be black. And over 90%, it's going to be red. If I change that to 30%, that turns to be white. If I change that to 99.9, this turns to red. So the concept is it should flag if you're under utilized or over utilized for each line. And you can just play with the capacity, sorry, with the scheduling. So I can reduce this one to 4,000 or 2,500 and get to 94%. Um, and increase this one to a nice percentage and I can balance the lines and see that I have a plan. Now the dashboard, I wrote here remember to refresh the pivot table. Um, I didn't add any VBAs here so this should be uh, simple and working for everyone. But once you make some adjustments just right click on the pivot table, click on refresh and then there's a pivot table that you can build something similar or something different. I thought a pivot table with customer, product, required quantity, schedule quantity, and gap is pretty good for someone to understand if they are um, supplying the right products for the right customers.
you can see in this example, the biggest customer is actually very much undersupplied, and we're focusing mostly on, I guess, smaller customers. So you may want to go back and adjust uh, the plan and focus more on this customer. Um, if you're still here and you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button as I'm posting new content constantly. The last sheet that I want to share here is the hours conversion. This is basically, and I wrote here, do not change anything here. <laughs> basically, this is taking the data in units and converting it into time. So how is it doing that? It's very simple. What it's doing is it's looking if there's any value in age nine schedule, which is basically this um, cell. If there's a value, if there's a schedule plan, then we're using that number and dividing it's a very long formula, but it's only index match. So it's index match between the line and the, and the product. So basically it's going over here to line throughput and finding the combination. So body line one, so it's 125. And it's taking that number, 3,700 3, dividing by 125, and that gives you 30. And you keep on doing that all over. And eventually you get the quantity in hours. And this is brought back over here to the schedule next. Real quick, so you have the line capacity where you decide what the capacity is with some simple formulas. We have the line throughput where we define what output each line can produce the products. Schedule is where you key in your requirements and schedule for each line that you can. And the dashboard is where you see the end results. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, and see you in the next video. Take care now.